All right, here we are at the liver. Uh, I'm gonna knock out the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas all at the same time. So the liver's this big brown looking guy here. Gallbladder's this little bag that's underneath it, and the pancreas, you guys have seen it before, but it always seems to reappear, doesn't it? So there it is. Uh, in the liver, or coming out of the liver, I should say, are these little, this little duct right here, and this is called the hepatic duct. The liver makes bile, and it secretes it via this hepatic duct, and you can see several different branches of it. When that hepatic duct meets up with this cystic duct, so the gallbladder has a cystic duct, the, the liver has, an, has hepatic ducts, they form what's called a common bile duct down here. So that's the common bile duct. Now this is a two-way road, this cystic duct. The liver secretes this stuff all the time and it kind of stores it in here. So when you have a big meal, especially if you have a big fatty meal, you're gonna secrete a lot more of this bile uh, into this uh, uh, common bile duct. Ultimately, it's gonna be secreted here and this is the duodenum. So this is right there at the first beginning of that small intestine. And bile acts like an emulsifier. What an emulsifier does is that it, is it, that it uh, breaks up fat globules. So fat tends to form these little, these bubbles, right? Bubbles. And uh, you kind of break them up into smaller bits. That gives you more surface area to work on for your lip, uh, lipid dissolving enzymes, your lipases. Um, so, okay, Ooh, one thing for the pancreas here. So the, this is the pancreatic duct right there, that white ribbon, and it's formed from branches. And the cells within the pancreas that make the pancreatic juice, which is kind of a nice simple name for it, are called acenar or acinar cells, or acini, if you want to A-C-I-N-I, acini or A-C-I-N-A-R, but in any case, those are the uh, exocrine secretion producing cells, whereas we're, we remember the pancreas for having its uh, pancreatic islets, which produced uh, insulin and glucagon. I'm gonna, pan, we're gonna pan up to this liver up here where we can see my phone ringing. It is spam. Uh, what am I looking at here? All right, we're gonna look at some more. We, we can see some blood vessels here. Uh, this is this blood vessel that goes towards your liver is your hepatic portal vein. This one here, the red one is the hepatic artery. The one that leaves the liver, this could be either be the, the superior vena cava or you could call it the branches of the hepatic vein. But the, but the, the, the blood vessel that leaves the liver go back to the vena cava at least is the uh, an hepatic vein. So don't get hepatic portal vein, which goes from digestive system to the liver, and hepatic vein, which drains the liver, mixed up. I'm gonna throw this guy back up here because, is that in frame? Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm, I failed to point out that this right here, this big one represents the hepatic portal vein. This represents the hepatic artery right there. And then this thing leaving the liver up there is your hepatic vein. So portal vein goes to the liver, hepatic vein leaves the liver. And then I'm going to, oh, oh, oh my backdrop. This production, we're gonna to go to a close up of the inside of the liver where we're gonna see some repeating uh, geometric units right here, okay? So these little hexag hexagonal shaped cylinders are called uh, lobules. And they're hexagonal because then you can fit the most, there's like a, oh, I don't know what, it, what I would call it, but. The, the, there's a phenomenon that if you put circles in here, you get a lot of wasted space. If you put hexagons in here, you don't have a lot of wasted space. So it kind of maximizes space filling in a three-dimensional space. That's why bees make their honeycombs like that. Uh, the lobules are these big hexagons. The portal triads, you can see a little, these guys right here. So a triad is three things. I don't know if you can see that up close, but that's, there's like one, two, three different little uh, tubes there, right? This light colored blue tube is, your, is a branch of your hepatic portal vein. This is a branch of your hepatic artery. So we already met those guys, right? And these are little branches of the hepatic ducts. You can just call them bile ducts at this point, but they're branches of the hepatic duct, which then are gonna drain. So these, these two, the, uh, the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery are coming into the liver. This bile duct is draining the bile from the liver, which is then going to go back to that 
uh, hepatic duct, which then goes back to that cystic duct, etc. cetera. Um, here in the dead center, we see a branch of the hepatic vein. So the blood comes into the liver, filters through these lobules where the hepatocytes, the liver cells, process the, nutri the nutrients and absorb oxygen, release carbon dioxide, anything that other cells do. But they also produce bile. So the flow of blood goes this way, ultimately getting to the hepatic vein, which we saw drain the liver earlier. The flow of bile kind of goes the other way, kind of going down to these bile ducts where they'll ultimately uh, drain out that way. In this close-up over here uh, of one of these uh, lobules, we can see the portal triad up close and in person. Let me do it, let me flip around actually. So there's that same portal triad, just up much more magnified, hepatic portal vein, hepatic artery, uh, bile duct. The, well, I guess that's, uh, let me see one thing, wait, hold on, hold on. Mm. You can actually see the hepatocytes represented here. So these guys are hepatocytes, each of these little liver cells, these little square shaped guys is a hepatocyte. Uh, one other thing you see there, and it's nice, this is a good model because right down in there you see a little starfish looking dude, and there's another one over there, right? And there's one over there. So what are these are called Kupfer cells. They call them stellate macrophages. I don't know why people got to come up with all these fancy names. They're just macrophages if you ask me. They're stellate meaning star-shaped, and Kupfer is after the person who found them, so whatever. I'm, if you call it a macrophage, you're okay. And what do macrophages do? They eat stuff. So they're in there cleaning up your liver.